Chapter 186, Ching Lin On the night after Xiao Yan had arrived in Rock Desert City, Xiao Yan, who had never touched liquor made an exception and went happily to a liquor stall with Xiao Ding and Xiao Li. The next day when Xiao Yan woke up from his sleep, his mind felt clouded and his opened eyes were blurry. He realized that the sky was already bright. Rubbing his somewhat painful head, he tilted his head and eyed the thin quilt on his body before he gradually sat up. After violently swinging his head, he smiled bitterly, crossed his legs together and formed the training seal on his hand. He entered the training mode and began to expel the remaining liquor in his body. After training for a while, Xiao Yan gently flicked his finger and a thread of dense liquor vapor shot out from it. Once he had expelled the alcohol from his body, Xiao Yan comfortably smoothed out his breath. He then opened his eyes gradually and once again recovered the calmness he had. G.A.G. Not long after Xiao Yan opened his eyes, the room's door was suddenly gently pushed open. A lovely and pretty figure quietly entered. However, when she saw Xiao Yan sitting on the bed, she was slightly surprised and hurriedly bowed. In a timid voice, she asked, Young Master Xiao Yan, have you woken up? The girl that entered the room did not appear very old. From her appearance, it seemed that she was slightly younger than Xiao Yan. She wore a pale green elegant dress. Her body may be small, but it was strangely quite mature, appearing only slightly unripe. Her oval face was cute and delicate, much like a pretty porcelain doll. Her timid manner was like a rabbit in a state of anxiety, causing people to be unable to help but pity her. Seeing this green-dressed girl for the first time, Xiao Yan was also at a loss. He then quickly gave her a friendly nod. Young Master Xiao Yan, I... I shall help you wash. Putting the water basin gently on a wooden rack just by the bed, the cute girl said in a soft voice as she anxiously stood by the bed. Hee hee. It's not necessary. I will do it myself. Shaking his head with a smile, Xiao Yan came down from the bed and came to the side of the wooden rack. He randomly washed himself. Tilting his head to watch the girl's anxious manner, he could not help but smile. What is your name? TL, wash means wash one's face slash teeth. Ah. Hearing this, the girl became a little blank. She immediately said hesitatingly, I... I am called Ching Linear. Oh. Nodding his head, Xiao Yan took a face towel and wiped his face. After which, he threw the towel into the basin, faced the sky and inhaled the fresh and cool air. Seeing that Xiao Yan had completed his wash, Ching Lin held the water basin tightly and briskly headed toward the outside. Tilting his head and watching the girl's pretty and small figure, Xiao Yan's gaze suddenly drifted to the waist that one would desire to hug. He did not know why, but he felt that when the girl's narrow waist twisted, there was an unusual temptation, it was like, like a beautiful female snake enchantingly swaying her waist. Damn it! What random thoughts am I having? The ridiculous thought caused Xiao Yan to bitterly laugh as he scolded himself. He returned to the bedside gripped the hilt of the huge heavy Xian ruler and lifted it with his strength. With a soft cry, he placed it on his shoulders. Xiao Yan lightly bounced his body and smiled. After a year of tough training, the current him had already completely gotten used to the heaviness of the heavy Xian ruler. However, each time he removed the heavy Xian ruler, his speed and strength would ferociously rise. Xiao Yan believed that when fighting with an opponent, this sudden increase in speed and strength would catch the opponent off guard. His palm grabbed the hilt of the heavy Xian ruler again and pulled it out. Following an intense pressuring sound, the wooden rack by his side abruptly cracked apart with the attack. Seeing the broken wooden rack, Xiao Yan opened his mouth and grinned before replacing the heavy Xian ruler onto his back. Ah, at the entrance, Qing Lin, who had just returned after clearing the water, could not help but let out a soft surprised gasp. After which, she hurriedly ran over, squatted down, and picked up the clothes on the ground. Eyeing the busy little girl, Xiao Yan gave an embarrassed smile. He apologetically squatted down, 
extended his hand and was about to help pick up the fallen clothes when his shifting gaze suddenly stopped on Ching Lin's snow white wrist that had appeared from under her sleeve. The snow white wrist actually grew some green colored, snake scale? His gaze stared at Ching Lin with surprise. Then, Xiao Yan's gaze involuntarily swept toward where her legs were, but he did not see a snake tail. He could only see two three inch long small feet. Ching Lin, who was tidying up the clothes suddenly raised her small face. When she saw Xiao Yan's shocked expression, she followed his gaze and slowly shifted downwards and finally stopped at the arm she had accidentally revealed. Her cute face immediately turned white as she pulled down her sleeves and carefully took two steps back. After which, she hugged her small legs with her hands, leaned against the corner of the wall and squatted down. Her small body also started trembling. I'm... I'm sorry. I... I did not intend to scare you. The little girl shivered as she hugged her small legs. Her timid voice had a little anxiety and tears began to fall down her face. Feeling at a loss from the little girl's sensitive mood, Xiao Yan sighed gently in his heart while staring at the timid manner of Qing Lin. He had heard others mention that in areas near the Tagar Desert, there would occasionally be human women who would have relations with snake people. According to logic, when a snake person and a human are involved, it would usually not result in pregnancy. However, there could always be an exception to everything. A slight chance existed that women with relations to a snake person could become pregnant and eventually give birth. Although a child would be born, this kind of baby with both human and snake people's blood usually had difficulty living past two years of age. However, the Qinglin in front of Xiao Yan, seemed to have already reached 13 or 14. What actually happened? Xiao Yan gazed at the little girl with pity and bitterly smiled. Even if she could live until she was old, what was the use? People like Ching Lin would be viewed as a curse by both the humans and the snake people. To live so many years, other than receiving more disdainful looks and ridicule, there did not seem to be anything else in her life. Slowly moving to Ching Lin's side, Xiao Yan lowered his body and rubbed his hand gently on the little girl's head. After which, he held her hand under her frightened expression and carefully pulled open her sleeves. He watched the green-colored snake scales and abruptly said in a gentle and soft voice, What a beautiful scale! Hearing this, the little girl's frightened expression turned blank. Since she had been born, Xiao Yan was the first person who said that the scales, which even she herself was afraid of, was beautiful. Within the trauma-filled weak little spirit a strange feeling stealthily surfaced. Opening her eyes which were faintly releasing an unusual and bewitching feeling, she timidly said, Is young master not afraid? Staring at the pair of moist eyes belonging to Ching Lin, Xiao Yan realized that they were slightly green in color. Moreover, at the deep regions of the pupils, there appeared to be three extremely small dark green spots that were hidden. Staring intently at that somewhat demonic dark green pupils, Xiao Yan suddenly felt somewhat absent-minded. A moment later, his heart suddenly trembled and he swiftly regained consciousness. A startled expression faintly surfaced on his face. What kind of demonic eyes were these? Even with his spiritual strength, he actually became somewhat absent-minded. With his shock still remaining, Xiao Yan once again stared at the little girl's pupils. However, he was stunned to realize that the three tiny dark green spots had actually disappeared. Don't tell me that I was seeing things. Xiao Yan mumbled in a stunned voice. He shook his head violently and once again stared at the little girl for a moment. Other than her eyes being slightly green, there did not seem to be any tiny spots present. Ugh, it was most likely the result of me drinking last night. Helplessly shaking his head, Xiao Yan pulled down Ching Lin's sleeves. After which, he helped her to her feet and smiled as he watched this timid girl who was at his shoulder's height. With a smile, he apologized, I'm sorry. I've frightened you. Ching Lin hurriedly shook her head. Her small hand was so anxious that she wrinkled the clothes in her hand. Since her birth, Xiao Yan was also the first to apologize to her in all these years. Young master, during this period of time, 
I will be your personal maid. If there is anything, you can instruct Qing Lin here. Qing Lin bowed and said softly. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He rubbed the little girl's head and asked with a smile, Where are my brothers? Company leader Xiao Ding and Xiao Li had already gone to manage the things in the company. They told me that if young master wants to find them, I can bring you to the meeting room at the forecourt. Qing Lin said in a gentle voice. Oh, since they are busy, then forget it. Shaking his head with a smile, Xiao Yan carried the heavy Xian ruler and walked out. He smiled and said, Let's go, show me around this desert metal mercenary company. Yes. After responding gently, Ching Lin carefully followed. Walking out of the room, the sunlight outside splashed downwards, causing one's body to feel extremely warm. Although the desert was very hot, it was still currently morning time, where the temperature of the sunlight had not reached the extent of causing one to feel the heat. While walking with Ching Lin within the inner regions of the mercenary company, the mercenaries whom they met would stop and greet Xiao Yan in a friendly manner. It appeared that all of them knew Xiao Yan's identity. However, when their gaze swept toward Qing Lin by the side, their smiles gradually turned cold. In some of their eyes, there was even a faint bit of disgust. When faced with such an expression from them, Xiao Yan could only helplessly sigh. It looked like Qing Lin's identity was something these people also knew about. Back when Xiao Yan had become a useless cripple, he had also received such treatment. This was the reason for him to express pity to the helpless and pitiful like Qing Lin. However, the mercenary company by the border of the desert all had a blood feud with the snake people that was hard to erase. Each time these mercenaries remembered that the little girl in front of them had the dirty snake people's blood flowing in her, they would involuntarily display a disgusted expression. This kind of sentiment was something that almost nothing could suppress. This was the disgust that had formed from the long conflicts and the enmity between the humans and the snake people. Having both the humans and snake people's blood at the same time, Ching Lin had to bear the discrimination as an abomination from both sides. Thinking about it, she was the most innocent girl. While she was following by Xiao Yan's side along the way, Ching Lin's small pretty body would shiver slightly each time the disgusted gazes were shot from the surroundings. The cute small face that should have caused numerous people to glance at admiringly was filled with gloominess. Walking past a corner, Xiao Yan could not help but sigh. He slowly came to a stop, tilted his head toward Ching Lin whose face had suddenly become uneasy because of his sigh. After musing for a while, he gently said, Ching Lin, don't be too conscious of other people's gazes. All you need to remember is that you do not live for those other people. You live because of yourself. Having said those words, Xiao Yan rubbed Ching Lin's head and continued to walk into the distance. Bearing Xiao Yan's words, Ching Lin stood on the spot, at a loss. A long time later, a strange splendor appeared on her the cute and exquisite face. Her pretty face gently sniffed. Raising her small face, the three tiny green-colored spots in her dark green-colored eyes suddenly surfaced silently. Thank you, young master Xiao Yan. After she softly muttered the sentence, Ching Lin's small face suddenly displayed a smile that was filled with enticement. After which, she broke into a joyful walk and caught up to the back figure of the young man in front of her. Chapter 187, Competition Young Master Wake up! Early in the morning, Ching Lin softly shouted. Her hands were placed on her narrow waist while her exquisite small face helplessly watched Xiao Yan on the bed, hugging his quilt and sleeping. Under Ching Lin's shout, Xiao Yan semi-consciously opened his eyes. With heavy eyelids, he lazily sat up and did not know if he wanted to laugh or cry as he looked at Ching Lin pouting her lips beside him. With a sigh, he gave up the thought of lying lazily in bed. With the support of Ching Lin's gentle and tender small hands, he quickly put on his clothes. Young master, you cannot blame Ching Lin for disturbing your sleep. Today is the day of Desert Metal Mercenary Company's competition that occurs once every three months and is also the most lively time of the company in the three months. Last night you had even reminded me to wake you up, or else, 
having said until this point, a bright redness faintly appeared on Ching Lin's exquisite small face as she said in a voice that could not be heard, else you said that Ching Lin's bottom will suffer. Cough, during early morning, when a man just woke up, it was the time when he was most potent. Although Ching Lin in front of him was only thirteen or fourteen, her body, perhaps as a result of having both the blood of a human and a snake, protruded and sunk in the correct places. She was full where it should be and narrow at the right places. All of these were lethal temptations to those who had strange likings. Although Xiao Yan did not have those kind of interests, an excitement would still appear in his heart during such a time. Luckily, he managed to swiftly suppress such an excitement. Otherwise, he would be embarrassed to death. Ching Lin's delicate small hands massaged Xiao Yan until he was extremely satisfied. Xiao Yan stretched his lazy waist and teasingly laughed, this kind of lifestyle is really that of a young master. In the future, when I don't have such a thoughtful person by my side, won't I have to return to the life I lead before? Hearing this, Ching Lin felt a sweetness in her heart. After these few days of living together, she and Xiao Yan's relationship had grown increasingly familiar. The gentle treatment that Xiao Yan gave her also caused Ching Lin to be extremely willing to continue serving him. If young master is willing, Ching Lin can continue to follow by your side as a female servant. Ching Lin whispered as her small hand flattened the creases on Xiao Yan's sleeves. Haha I also wish to but I will spend at most ten days here. After ten days, I will still have to continue through the desert and proceed with my training. In that kind of environment, if a young girl like you followed by my side, you would be seeking hardship. Relax, before I leave, I will tell Big Brother to take good care of you. Xiao Yan rubbed Ching Lin's head and smiled. Hearing Xiao Yan's words, a hint of disappointment flashed across Ching Lin's downcast eyes. A moment later, however, she hurriedly gave a forceful smile and said, All right, young master. We should be leaving. The competition may have already begun. Nodding his head with a smile, Xiao Yan carried the heavy Xian ruler on his back and strode out of the room. The alert Ching Lin quickly stepped forward to open the door, turned around and gave Xiao Yan a tender and lovely grin. Competition was a strength examination that the Desert Metal Mercenary Company held once every three months. The aim of such a competition was to encourage the members of the troop to put in effort to train. This was because the winner of these competitions would usually earn the right to form their own small group and become team leader. In order to obtain this right, the general culture within the Desert Metal Mercenary Company was for the mercenaries to be diligent and climb upwards. The rate of growth of the Desert Metal members' strengths far exceeded other mercenaries because of this kind of competition. Thus, the Desert Metal Mercenary Company was near the top among the mercenary company's rock desert city. Xiao Yan was also in agreement of having this kind of competition that had a positive influence. As Xiao Yan expected, the one who suggested such a competition was his big brother whose mind had always been nimble. In addition, the original flaws of this competition had already gradually become solved. Thus, the effect the competition obtained was also increasingly notable. After making a few turns in the compound of the mercenary company, Xiao Yan met a few people in the same boat as him who were rushing about since they just got up. When they met, they smiled and greeted each other before they began madly running toward the training ground in the backyard. Maybe it was because of Xiao Yan. Now, when the Desert Metal Mercenary Company members met Ching Lin, the disgust on their faces was much more suppressed. Although their treatment of her remained cold, they no longer used vile words on her like they did in the past. Xiao Yan had no intention of taking part in the competition and, thus he need not rush as much as the others. He and Ching Lin chatted happily as they slowly walked toward the backyard. By the time the two of them arrived at the training ground, many extremely heated fights had already begun. The battleground had nearly a hundred people in a messy fight while the audience below was yelling with agitated expressions. At some places, there were even people gambling on who would be the five people remaining. Standing on a huge rock outside the battleground, Xiao Yan pulled Ching Lin up. 
the two of them stood side by side as they watched the foul battle going on in the training ground. Occasionally, when they saw some underhanded actions, they could not help but laugh in spite of themselves. Young master, company leader Xiao Ding and the others are up there. When Xiao Yan was watching attentively, Ching Lin beside him suddenly pointed toward a high platform on the opposite side of the training ground and smiled at Xiao Yan. Oh! Xiao Yan was still for a moment before he lifted his eyes and looked over. He saw Xiao Ding and Xiao Li seated on the tall platform. Beside them were some people who were wearing the Desert Metal Mercenary Company uniform. It appeared that they were the upper echelons of the company. During the last few days, he had met all of them, so he could vaguely recognize them. As Xiao Yan was watching them, Xiao Ding and Xiao Li also shifted their gazes over. The three of them looked at each other, smiled involuntarily and waved their hands. Just as Xiao Yan was about to withdraw his gaze, he suddenly noticed Xiao Li's gesture and briefly stilled. Afterwards, Xiao Yan pointed at the battleground and then at himself. Seeing this, Xiao Li smiled and nodded. He lowered his head and said something to Xiao Ding beside him. Under the helpless expression of the latter, he leapt from the tall platform and landed in the middle of the battleground. Xiao Yan helplessly rolled his eyes as he watched Xiao Li's action. He said something to Qing Lin beside him and stomped his feet suddenly on the huge rock. Following an explosive sound, his figure shot into the battleground flipped in the air and stepped onto the battleground with both legs. Ha ha, Xiao Yan Zi, let me see how strong you, as the little genius of the clan, have become in these few years. Xiao Li's voice, which was carried along by Dou Qi, suppressed the noise around the training ground. Second Company Leader Second Company Leader Hearing Xiao Li's loud shout, the surrounding people were briefly stunned before their gazes became excited as they loudly cheered. Instantly, waves of fanatic cries around the training ground turned into a sound tide that shot to the clouds. Second brother, your younger brother naturally dares not refuse. The surrounding heated atmosphere gave Xiao Yan a hot-blooded feeling in his heart. His hand held the hilt of the heavy Xian ruler and drew it abruptly. With a Qiang sound, he held the heavy ruler with an inclined grip and laughed boldly. Ha ha, good. Seeing this, Xiao Li laughed loudly. He flipped his hand and a tungsten steel long spear appeared in his palm. Suddenly, a silver-colored Dou Qi suddenly soared from his body and formed a silver-colored Dou Qi cloak over his skin. In these few years that we have not met, second brother's lightning-type Dou Qi has become increasingly polished. Xiao Yan's gaze swept across the silver-colored Dou Qi cloak on Xiao Li's body and could not resist shaking his head. Xiao Li's lightning-type Dou Qi was extremely rare. Besides having a very strong offensive strength, this kind of Dou Qi also possessed a paralyzing effect. In battle, it really caused people to have a headache. Gradually releasing a mouthful of air, the purple flame Dou Qi in Xiao Yan's body swiftly flowed. A moment later, a Dou Qi cloak with purple flame soaring from it similarly wrapped Xiao Yan within it. Oh man, seeing the purple flame Dou Qi cloak that Xiao Yan had summoned, Xiao Li could not help but praise. He immediately held his long lance tightly and shouted, Let's start. Just as Xiao Li's voice fell, his and Xiao Yan's body moved at almost the same time. Their legs stepped on the ground and their bodies shot out. Seeing that the two of people had managed to open a pathway in the messy battleground, the surrounding mercenaries once again grew excited. It was rare for them to witness a fight between two doshis. Today, these people who were treated to this battle became extremely excited. Young master, go for it. Standing on the huge rock, Ching Lin's small face was bright red as she shouted in a tender voice. Ha ha, company leader. Do you think the second company leader or brother Xiao Yan has a better chance of winning? On the tall platform, Xue Lan's gaze drifted to the battleground and asked with a lovely laugh. Hearing Xue Lan's question, the few others who formed the upper echelons turned their gazes over and watched Xiao Ding, who made the daily decisions on all matters in the company. Being the center of attention, Xiao Ding lifted his teacup as though nothing had happened. 
He took a sip, swept his gaze across the battleground and said with a smile, Second brother is currently a four-star doshi. At the rate he is practicing it, he will soon reach the five-star level. Xiao Yanzi's current strength is just that of someone who has entered the doshi class. Moreover, second brother uses a lightning-type doshi, which everyone here should have experienced before. Although I don't have a clue about Xiao Yanzi's purple flame doshi but, you tell me, whose chances of winning is higher? A cunningness flashed across Xiao Ding's eyes as he answered. From the looks of it, won't second company leader win for certain? After all, their strength differs by a few stars, hearing this, Xue Lan could not help but twitch her mouth and said in a somewhat disappointed voice. She really wanted to see Xiao Li made a fool of. Hee <laughs> hee, Xiao Ding laughed as he gently knocked on the table with his fingers. His gaze stared at the young man covered in purple flame Do Chi standing on the battleground. In a soft voice, he said, if it was someone else, he may indeed not have any chance of winning. But, regarding my youngest brother, you cannot use common sense to judge. That little guy liked to hide his true self since he was young. I don't believe that his real strength is just the bit on the surface. This, in this fight, Xiao Yan Zi is the one who has a higher chance of winning. Chapter 188, A Competition Between Brothers On the huge empty yard, a silver and a purple human figure appeared to have torn out two pathways in the messy battleground. A long, empty space was left where the both of them passed. Bang! Following the clear sound of metals coming into contact with each other, a ferocious energy wave violently flowed out from the center of the battleground. Instantly, the messy fighting that was going on within a 10-meter radius of them both was cleared into an empty circle was formed. Tightly holding the heavy Xian ruler, Xiao Yan lifted his eyes and stared at the long spear that was trickily stabbing at him like a poisonous snake. At the top of the spear was a silver electric arc that jumped repeatedly. Taking in a light breath, Xiao Yan violently swung the heavy ruler in his hand. Clang! The tip of the spear struck against the huge body of the ruler. Under the pressure of the strength the heavy ruler carried, the narrow and weak long spear was crushed into a alarming arc with the tip closing in on the spear handle where Xiao Li was holding. He he, boy, you are quite strong. Seeing that he was at a slight disadvantage after the first exchange, Xiao Li could not help but smile. On his palm, Dou Qi began to agglomerate and knocked violently into the spear handle. A wave of electric energy flowed through the spear and swiftly entered the heavy ruler. As the electrical flow entered the heavy ruler, Xiao Yan's palm, which was tightly holding the heavy Xian ruler immediately trembled slightly. The purple flame Dou Qi in his body continued to flow, quickly expelling the paralyzing energy from his body. Xiao Yan Zi, when your second brother fights with people, there will be no warm UPS. Since we are going to fight, then I will put in all my effort. You better be careful. In the instant Xiao Yan's palm trembled, Xiao Li let out a hee hee laughter. The long spear strangely turned and scratched across the heavy ruler, leaving a burst of sparks. After which, it stabbed out explosively. Triple lightning arc dance. When the long spear began moving, Xiao Li called out softly. Instantly, Three snake-shaped lightning arcs abruptly appeared on the spear. The lightning arcs flickered as they crossed each other. Amidst a chi-chi sound, they each carried a very strong energy that no one dared to underestimate. Triple lightning arc dance. Ugh. It hasn't been that long but the second company leader has already used the triple lightning arc dance. Seeing Xiao Li's attack, numerous surprised voices sounded below the battleground. This triple lightning arc dance was a killer move of Xiao Li. It was unexpected that he had actually displayed it after only exchanging blows for a short while. Was he trying to end the fight quickly? KK, looks like brother Xiao Yan is going to suffer. This triple lightning arc dance of the second company leader is a Lo Xian class Dou technique. With the paralyzing effect of the lightning type Dou Qi, even a four star Dou Qi would not easily dare to take it head on. Tisk tisk, they had only just started exchanging blows, but
but the second company leader has already used it. Looks like Brother Xiaoyan is fairly strong. One of the members of the Desert Metal Mercenary Company upper echelon on the tall platform could not help but laugh. This guy really knows how to bully people. It's fine that his level is slightly higher than Xiao Yan's, but he actually used a Xian class Dou techniques, Xue Lan rubbed her lips together and defended Xiao Yan from the injustice as she said. Haha, the lightning type Dou Qi of second brother belongs to the type that rushes out in one go. If the fight were to drag out, it would be to his disadvantage. Thus, no matter who he fights with, he must choose the fastest method to determine the victor. Otherwise, once his strength weakens, he would find himself in a bad situation. Xiao Ding smiled, shook his head and mused. Hearing this, everyone smiled helplessly. They could only pray in their hearts that Xiao Yan could withstand this attack. In the battleground, Xiao Yan was also a little shocked when Xiao Li displayed his Dou technique. However, this one year of tough training had caused his mental strength to reach a level that his past self could not compare with. In an instant, he calmed down. A purple flame Dou Qi flowed out from the vortex in his body and covered the ruler's body, preventing Xiao Li's lightning type Dou Qi from using the ruler to enter his body and paralyze him. After being entirely wrapped by the purple flame, the black heavy Xian ruler, spurred on by Xiao Yan's full strength, carried a pressuring wind as it viciously smashed at the long spear that was swiftly piercing toward him. Under the anxious observation of everyone, the heavy ruler and the long spear clashed violently. An instant later, an explosion sounded and tiny cracks appeared on the rock flooring where their legs stood. Ding! The tip of the spear quickly stabbed at the heavy ruler. A strip of electric arc threateningly and ferociously crashed against the ruler. The strong and violent force that it carried abruptly lifted the heavy ruler. In addition, the contact from the lightning arc also reduced the purple flame Dou Qi on the heavy Xian ruler by half. He <laughs> he. Seeing that Xiao Yan was forced to take a step back while carrying the heavy Xian ruler in his hand, Xiao Li laughed. However, he did not hold anything back. As Xiao Yan was being pushed back, the long spear violently pierced at the heavy Xian ruler which did not have the time to react as it was being pushed back. Ding. Another clear sound echoed. The purple flame Dou Qi on the heavy ruler had totally vanished. Ding! After banishing the purple flame, Xiao Li's long spear continued its lightning-like piercing. At the same time, the last electric energy also violently sprang from the spear and knocked heavily on the heavy Xian ruler. Following a loud sound, the heavy Xian ruler left Xiao Yan's hand and flipped over ten times before it fell on the ground. Little boy, the battle is over. Holding the long spear in his hand, Xiao Li smiled at Xiao Yan. Hiss, seeing Xiao Yan's weapon leaving his hand, waves of hissing sounded around the battleground. In this kind of fight, losing one's weapon was basically taking a step into the side of defeat. Under normal circumstances, that was logically the case. However, for Xiao Yan, this situation was totally the opposite. The heavy Xian ruler in his hand could indeed raise some of his offensive strength. However, it was more of a restraint on Xiao Yan. With the heavy Xian ruler on his body, not only was Xiao Yan's speed terribly suppressed but the Dou Qi in his body must be stimulated with all his strength in order to handle a battle of this level. However, with the heavy Xian ruler leaving his hand, the last bond that suppressed Xiao Yan's strength was totally removed. The Xiao Yan after losing the burden of the heavy Xian ruler was at his peak form. TL, this isn't even my final form. Thus, when he heard Xiao Li's words, Xiao Yan noncommittally shrugged his shoulders, that may not be true. Seeing that Xiao Yan's face was still calmly smiling, Xiao Li was a little stunned. Immediately, the long spear in his hand lightly shot toward Xiao Yan's shoulders. Explosive Steps Raising his face, Xiao Yan gave a brilliant smile. As his voice called out, his feet violently stomped on the ground. With the sound of an energy explosion, his body shot out and appeared beside Xiao Li in an instant. Within the battleground, 
everyone who saw Xiao Yan's speed could not help but let out a surprised cry. Clearly, they could not understand how, in such a situation, Xiao Yan's speed could rise so explosively as though he had eaten some medicine. The sudden appearance of Xiao Yan beside Xiao Li caused a look of shock to flash across Xiao Li's face. His palm which was tightly holding the long spear suddenly pulled backwards. The spear moved along his waist and spun quickly like a windmill. While spinning, threads of electric light leaped and flickered. Lightly stepping onto the tip of the spear, Xiao Yan's figure once again exceeded everyone's expectations and explosively retreated. When Xiao Yan was shooting backwards, his palm suddenly extended out and immediately clenched tightly. Immediately, a vicious suction force flowed out from his palm. A short distance away, Xiao Li did not have the time to block it. His body was unsteady and the windmill-like long spear was pulled in all directions. The attack could no longer be completed. With the suction force from his palm, Xiao Yan's body which was flying backwards had strangely came to a stop. He lifted his head, watched Xiao Li who was being sucked over and smiled. His feet once again stepped violently on the ground. Following an explosive sound, his body appeared in front of Xiao Li like lightning. Second brother, that ruler isn't my weapon. What I specialize in, is still, close combat. Xiao Yan suddenly laughed softly as the two pairs of eyes came into close distance contact. Under Xiao Li's tightly shrunken eyes, Xiao Yan's hand immediately tightened into a fist. Then, swinging his hand so that his body could borrow the strength and rotate halfway, Xiao Yan strangely fell backwards into Xiao Li's chest. With his back facing Xiao Li, Xiao Yan's elbow paused for a moment before it carried a sharp air sound that seemed to have broken the wind resistance as it violently smashed toward Xiao Li's chest. Feeling the frightening force that Xiao Yan's elbow possessed, Xiao Li's expression abruptly changed. A serious glint swiftly flashed across his eyes. The right fist that was by his chest suddenly fell heavily. As Xiao Li's fist fell, a piercing silver light was emitted from his chest and finally formed a small silver shield the size of a wash basin around half an inch from his chest. Tisk tisk. Second brother must have been pushed to the extreme. He even used this life-protecting silver lightning shield, seeing the small silver-colored shield on Xiao Li's chest, Xiao Ding shook his head and whispered. I knew it. Xiao Yan Zi would always have his own hidden card. Judging his strength from the surface is an extremely foolish move. Xiao Ding's gaze swept across that huge heavy Xian ruler in the battleground and smiled. Everyone, have you all not noticed that since the ruler left him, Xiao Yan Zi's speed and strength had rose by about 30 to 40 percent? Hearing this, surprise and amazement surfaced on the faces of Xue Lan and the others by the side. Within the battleground, Xiao Yan felt the energy fluctuations behind him. However, the force on his elbow was not reduced. An instant later, it heavily smashed onto the small silver-colored shield. Bang! Following a loud sound, everyone could see with their eyes that a cluster of shapeless energy ripples suddenly spread out from between both bodies. It extended over a radius of 10 meters before it gradually dissipated. In the battleground, Xiao Yan and Xiao Li's bodies both came to a sudden stop. Everyone could see that at the point the elbow and the silver shield came into contact, the silver shield was violently releasing one ripple after another. The ripples swiftly spread. A moment later, they gradually ceased. The two bodies also shot backwards as if they had received an electric shock. Boy, I did not expect that you still knew this kind of high-level physical do technique. He he, but the difference in our strength is too great. It isn't sufficient to break my silver lightning shield, Xiao Li suddenly said as his body was swiftly retreating. KK, that may not be certain. With a faint smile, Xiao Yan's fist suddenly tightened and he softly cried, explode. Bang. As Xiao Yan's voice fell, a soft muffled sound was suddenly emitted from within Xiao Li, who was falling backwards. Instantly, Xiao Li appeared to have been struck by lightning as his body quivered intensely for a few moments. His face had suddenly became much paler. Xiao Li's body also started to shoot backwards even more. 
Each time his feet stepped on the ground, it would leave a deep footprint. After retreating for around 20 steps, Xiao Li finally stabilized his body. At this moment, however, a human figure flashed in front of him and the sharp tip of a spear was held at his throat. Second brother, you have underestimated your opponent, Xiao Yan smiled and said softly as he pointed the sharp tip of the spear at Xiao Li. Chapter 189, Qing Lin's Discovery Seeing that within a few minutes, the fight within the battleground had suddenly changed, everybody around the battleground widened their eyes, clearly stunned. It was difficult to imagine that Xiao Li, someone who almost no one could match in the company, would actually be mysteriously defeated by Xiao Yan, who was younger than him by seven or eight years. Within the battleground, Xiao Li stared at the tip of the spear and was stunned for a long while before he finally recovered. His gaze swept across the smiling Xiao Yan in front of him and clicked his tongue as he shook his head. He sighed, little boy, how unexpected. You have hit so well. The strength that you had displayed does not appear to be merely that of a normal one-star doshi. KK, I was merely lucky. Shaking his head while laughing, Xiao Yan inserted the spear into the ground and then headed to where the heavy Xian ruler was a short distance away. He was about to lift it up when Xiao Li beside him stopped him with a smile. Let me try. This ruler, seems a little strange. Xiao Li curiously stared at the huge ruler on the ground and laughed as he said. Uh. Hearing this, Xiao Yan was slightly at a loss, but he quickly smiled and nodded his head. He took a step back while his gaze somewhat mocking. Xiao Li rubbed his hands and gradually stood by the heavy Xian ruler's side. His hand gripped the ruler, then tightly grabbed it. After letting out a breath, he carelessly pulled with his hand. When his hand pulled, Xiao Li's expression changed and he let out a shocked cry. He realized that ever since the heavy Xian ruler entered his hand, the swift surging lightning Dou Qi in his body had suddenly been reduced to the speed of a turtle's jog. Wow, there really is something strange, mumbling in a stunned voice, Xiao Li tightened his arm. Numerous veins began pulsing on the crook of his arm. Tightly holding the heavy Xian ruler, Xiao Li's face gradually turned red as he let out a soft cry, up. As the cry fell, Xiao Li's arm trembled as it slowly lifted up. After which, his two hands firmly grasped the ruler in front of him and waved it left and right with all his strength. Afterwards, the gaze Xiao Li used to look at Xiao Yan had some faint shock. You, you were actually carrying this just now to fight with me. Seeing the smile on the delicate and handsome face of Xiao Yan, Xiao Li's mouth was dry as he said. God, it was already very amazing that one can even carry this and move around smoothly. Yet, Xiao Yan actually carried this and exchanged quite a number of blows with Xiao Li during their fight. How could this not cause Xiao Li to be astonished and stunned? Eyeing Xiao Li's astonished manner, Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. His palm received the heavy Xian ruler and easily placed it onto his back. With his eyes staring intently at Xiao Yan's action, Xiao Li realized that when Xiao Yan received the heavy Xian ruler, his hand had merely sunk a little. The instant after it sunk, the small DOP was once again perfectly adjusted. Seeing the relaxed manner of Xiao Yan, Xiao Li's mouth opened. It was a long while later before he sighed in shock and shook his head. Little boy. How outstanding, have those eyes of Nalan Yanran been blinded? How many in the Jiuma Empire can be considered as outstanding as my brother? She actually thinks you aren't good enough. Xiao Yan smiled, waved his hand and said, At the very least, Sun Er will not be weaker than me. Sun Er? Haha. <laughs> that girl. I haven't been back for so many years, but that girl must have become very charming, no? It should be known that when she was small, those young masters in Wutan City came to the walls of the Xiao clan to take a look at her. But she seemed to stick to you. He <laughs> he. Hearing the elegant name, Xiao Li stilled momentarily before he smiled and said yearningly. Recalling the young lady's beautiful face and moving figure, Xiao Yan also gently smiled emotionally. His hand lightly patted the heavy Xian ruler and smiled, if there is a chance in the future. 
I will bring her to visit you. Ah, but now, I have some important matters that need both big brother's and second brother's help. Oh? There's something? No problem. Just tell us. Even if it is beyond our ability, big brother and second brother will do our best to help. When Xiao Li heard Xiao Yan, he immediately waved his hand and smiled. Yes. With a smile, Xiao Yan nodded his head. The three of them sat within a spacious room while Qing Li carefully carried three cups of tea to distribute to each of them before obediently standing behind Xiao Yan. Haha, <laughs> Xiao Yan Zi, you have some problem? Just say it out and let Big Brother analyze it for you. Xiao Ding smiled and said to Xiao Yan as he lifted his teacup to take a sip. Xiao Yan nodded with a smile before musing for a while. In a soft voice, he said, The reason for me coming to the Tager Desert is to search for something. Something? What thing? Hearing this, Xiao Li asked curiously with a smile. Heavenly flame, Xiao Yan whispered as his finger lightly tapped on the table. Uh, when the words heavenly flame were said, the room immediately became much quieter. Xiao Ding and Xiao Li exchanged gazes before asking in a puzzled voice, Heavenly flame? That kind of thing seems to be something only an alchemist would need. What do you need it for? Xiao Yan shrugged his shoulders and smiled indifferently, because I am an alchemist. Hey! Hearing this, Xiao Ding and Xiao Li's faces stiffened. A moment later, an unrestrained joy surfaced, you are an alchemist. Haha, <laughs> I was lucky to possess the talent for becoming an alchemist and when I was at Wutan City, I also met a teacher, so, Xiao Yan said with a smile. Tisk tisk, incredible. I never expected that our Xiao clan would also produce an alchemist. Haha. <laughs> Seeing that Xiao Yan nodded his head and admitting, Xiao Ding and Xiao Li immediately laughed out loud. Their laughter contained both envy and satisfaction. The heavenly flame's rarity is so great that it is a little frightening. Although we have muddled along in the rock desert city for a long time, we have really not heard anyone mentioning anything about where there are traces of the heavenly flame. After rejoicing, Xiao Ding frowned and helplessly said. Shaking his head with a smile, Xiao Yan tapped his finger on the storage ring, withdrew a piece of an old goatskin scroll and placed it on the table. His finger pointed at a flame symbol on it and said softly, This is a map that I managed to obtain. At this region marked by the flame symbol, there should be a higher chance of finding traces of the heavenly flame. However, I am unfamiliar with the surrounding terrain of the rock desert city, thus. I cannot find the exact place marked by the flame symbol. Big brother, the two of you been around here for quite some time. Do you know of any strange places around the rock desert city? Hearing this, Xiao Ding pulled over the map. His gaze roughly swept over the map before he said with surprise, What a detailed map. This is the first time I've ever seen such a map. Yes, it's so detailed it is a little overboard. Xiao Li nodded his head. He frowned and studied the map in detail before saying softly, the place marked by the flame symbol seems to be at to the east of Rock Desert City. Yes. More accurately speaking, it should be a little southeast of Rock Desert City. Xiao Ding nodded his head. He voiced his thoughts, but the east side of the Rock Desert City does not seem to have any strange places. There's indeed nothing. I have once brought people to search that place for a few days during one of our missions but I did not find any strange places. Xiao Li also shook his head and said helplessly. Seeing the two of them shake their head, disappointment rose on Xiao Yan's face. It appeared that there was no trace of the heavenly flame there. However, just as Xiao Yan was filled with disappointment, a gentle voice suddenly sounded within the room. That, young master, the east side of the rock desert city, seems to have something strange. Hearing this, Xiao Yan stilled. He quickly turned around and stared at Qing Lin who was twisting her small hands under his searing gaze. He hurriedly said, Do you know something? To the side, Xiao Ding and Xiao Li also shifted their stunned gaze toward Qing Lin. Clearly, they were not informed. 
Being the center of attention of the three gazes in the room, the timidness on Ching Lin's small face grew. She said haltingly, I am also unsure if my senses are accurate, but half a year ago, I really sensed that there was some unusual movement at a region to the east of the rock desert city. How do you know about it? You don't seem to possess such a strength. Xiao Ding's palm rubbed his teacup as he said with suspicion. I... I don't know. Half a year ago, I sensed a very strong qi that appeared outside Rock Desert City. That qi, and the blood in my body, seemed to be a little similar. Even the company leader of the Sand Mercenary Company is very weak compared to that qi. Qing Lin carefully stuck herself tightly to Xiao Yan as she whispered. Oh. Hearing this, Xiao Ding and Xiao Li were a little uneasy. The company leader of the Sand Mercenary Company was a Dadoshi. If even he was much weaker than the mysterious person. That. Did that mean that the other party was at least at the Dohuang level? A Qi that is similar to your bloodline? Don't tell me it is Queen Medusa. After musing for a while, Xiao Li suddenly said in a shocked voice. With Queen Medusa's strength, it should not be too hard for her to turn the rock desert city into ashes. This kind of extremely terrifying person had actually roamed the area surrounding Rock Desert City without anyone knowing. When the name Queen Medusa entered his ears, Xiao Ding's expression also changed slightly. Around the Taker Desert, this name was as renowned as Pil King Gu he was within the Jiama Empire. I don't know, Qing Lin shook her head. She whispered, I could only vaguely sense it. Half a year ago. She had suddenly arrived somewhere to the east of Rock Desert City. There, she seemed to have stayed for a night. During the night, the chi to the east was extremely irritable. I also know that when she left, she seemed to have been injured. Hearing Ching Lin narrating the tale, Xiao Yan sighed lightly. His eyes narrowed as he said softly, Can you be certain of the exact location where she stayed? I should be. Although half a year has passed, the chi that she had left behind is pretty dense. I... I can rely on the bloodline in me. I should be able to find that place. When she mentioned her bloodline, Ching Lin's face clearly became a little dejected. However, she maintained a forceful smile as she said. If young master wants to go, Ching Lin will try her best to bring you there. Haha, <laughs> thank you very much Ching Lin -ear. Let's go and take a look tomorrow. I hope the results won't disappoint me. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded as he said softly. Chapter 190, Surveying the Terrain In the vast desert, the yellow sand raged. Ching Lin, are you certain that it's here? Xiao Yan's face was filled with surprise as he watched the flat desert in front of him. The terrain here was extremely ordinary with nothing special that would attract one's attention and there were countless similar places within the Desert. It was difficult for Xiao Yan to imagine that there were traces of a heavenly flame in such a humble place. Behind Xiao Yan were Xiao Ding and Xiao Li. At the same time, there were tens of elite members of the Desert Metal Mercenary Company. At the moment, however, they were all throwing suspicious gazes at Qing Lin in front of them who was leading the way. For these people who had lived in Rock Desert City for a few years or even more than a decade, this place was so extremely ordinary. Moreover, some of these people had even come here a couple of times to perform their assignment. They had never felt anything unusual here compared to other places. Despite being the focus of everyone's attention, Ching Lin, who was a little timid, summoned up her courage, stared at Xiao Yan and said, Young master, based on my senses, the unusual occurrence that happened half a year ago originated from here. Hearing this, Xiao Yan pressed his eyebrows together. He stood at a small sand dune, raised his head and took a look at the surrounding. His face was gloomy. There doesn't seem to be any special building or strange cave. But if Ching Lin is correct, since there isn't anything on the surface or in the sky, then, it might be here. Xiao Ding glanced at the surrounds before suddenly squatting down. His hand grabbed some sand and slowly let it fall as he said softly. Big brother, you mean, it's underground. Hearing this, 
Xiao Yan momentarily stilled as he said with a stunned voice. Yes, although there are many strong people who can use the twist in the air in the desert to create mirages that can fool people's eyes, the degree of distortion in the air surrounding the rock desert city is insufficient to create such wonders. Thus, after eliminating this possibility, since there is no mirage concealment and since our eyes cannot see it, then the highest possibility would be that it is underground, Xiao Ding analyzed with a smile. Nodding his head, Xiao Yan stepped gently on the ground. He immediately smiled bitterly, even if the secret is underground, it is impossible for us to randomly dig around. Haha, <laughs> we naturally cannot. If we randomly dig holes in the desert, we might end up burying ourselves alive. However, Queen Medusa was able to go down, so I guess there should be some hidden passageway. Shaking his head with another smile, Xiao Ding said, There happens to be some experts in terrain survey ants in our company. As long as we get them to survey the area, it should not be difficult to find the passageway to go underground. Hearing this, Xiao Yan let out a sigh. He said with a smile, Since it is like this, then I'll have to trouble them. Finding the passageway is a small matter. However, this place isn't far from the rock desert city. If we create such a huge commotion by surveying here, I am afraid that other strengths in rock desert city will become aware of it. The night in the Tager desert is very short. If we only work at night, not only does it waste a large amount of time but we might miss some important places due to the darkness. In the rock desert city, with our desert metal mercenary company's strength, other small strengths would not dare to offend us. But the sand mercenary company, may well come out and do something. Xiao Ding shook his head, frowned and said helplessly. Sand mercenary company. Xiao Yan frowned. The sand mercenary company is the most powerful strength in rock desert city other than the city's military power. Although in terms of overall strength, our desert metal mercenary company would not lose to them, their company leader, Lu Buletin, is a Dadoshi. You should clearly know of the difference between a Dadoshi and a Doshi. Thus, if there is nothing important, we would normally not offend the sand mercenary company. However, if we create a huge commotion by searching around here, it would arouse their curiosity. Under such a situation they would naturally not play the role of an observer. Xiao Li, who was on one side, said helplessly. Hearing this, Xiao Yan pursed his lips. He quietly thought for a while, then raised his head to watch Xiao Ding and Xiao Li. With a smile, he said, It's all right. Big brother, second brother, the both of you only need to worry about the search. However, please do not spread the news of the heavenly flame. As for the Sand Mercenary Company. If they intend to interfere, then I will handle it. Hee <laughs> hee. All the people here have the backbone of the Desert Metal Mercenary Company. They are brothers who have followed us as we fought little by little to create this strength. The issue of keeping it a secret is no issue at all. Xiao Li patted his chest. However, he immediately said in a worried voice, You can handle Luo Buletin from the Sand Mercenary Company? Your strength. Second brother, relax. Since I have said this, I naturally have my confidence. You just need to send people to find the passageway. Xiao Yan smiled mysteriously. Looking at the mysterious Xiao Yan, Xiao Ding and Xiao Li helplessly nodded their head. However, they did somewhat believe him. They knew that with Xiao Yan's character, he would never joke around about such a situation. It is really getting harder to see through this little boy. After mumbling in their hearts, Xiao Ding and Xiao Li exchanged gazes and saw the same feeling in each other's eyes. All right. Since it's like this, Xue Lan, immediately hurry back to the Desert Metal Mercenary Company. Call all those members who specialize in surveying terrains over. We will try to find where the passageway is within a day. Xiao Ding turned around and ordered Xue Lan. Ah, yes. Leave this matter to me. Nodding her head with a smile, Xue Lan swiftly turned around and blew a whistle from her mouth. A camel that was a short distance away came galloping over. 
her pretty figure leaped beautifully onto its back before Shuelan drove off, galloping it towards the distant rock desert city and leaving a trail of yellow dust along the way. Seeing Shuelan gradually disappear from his sight, Xiao Yan let out a gentle sigh. He slowly squatted down and extended his hand into the searing hot sand. He muttered softly, Heavenly flame, does it really exist below? Not long after Shuelan left, she brought back all the members of the Desert Metal Mercenary Company that were skilled in surveying the terrain. Soon, all of the members arrived at Xiao Yan's and the others' location. Under Xiao Ding's order, 40 terrain surveying members divided their work and began to conduct the survey ants with precision. Being a huge strength in the rock desert city, there were naturally numerous gazes watching Desert Metal Mercenary Company's every move. Not long after Shuelan brought a large number of people out, there were a couple of wandering team who appeared close to where Xiao Yan and the others were and watched Desert Metal Mercenary Company's actions with faces that were filled with curiosity. The area outside Rock Desert City which had the possibility of a heavenly flame hiding there was a secret already tightly sealed by the people that Xiao Ding had assembled. Thus, those mercenaries and other people who came over to observe were all mercilessly stopped outside. Following the progress of the survey ants, the surrounding people watching also increased. Although Xiao Ding had announced that the Desert Metal Mercenary Company's large maneuver was because it wanted to hunt for a rank 3 magic beast, the surrounding crowd continued to gradually grow larger. Standing on a sand dune, Xiao Ding and the others watched the human crowd. They could not resist shaking their head helplessly and bitterly smiling, looking at the way things progress, within half an hour the Sand Mercenary Company will send someone over. Xiao Li knitted his eyebrows together. His face faintly contained a cold and ruthless aura. His hand shook as a tungsten steel long spear appeared in his palm, which he violently inserted into the sand dune. With a cold voice, he said, if they really provoke us too much, that Sand Mercenary Company can forget about living peacefully. Other than Luo Buletin, all the others in the Sand Mercenary Company are softies. Xiao Ding smiled faintly. His lowered eyes also flashed a similar cold glint. On one side, Xiao Yan, who was seated on the sand dune, also let out a soft laugh. He lifted his delicate and handsome face and used his squinted eyes to stare at the hot sun in the sky. A cold arc appeared and disappeared from the corner of his mouth. Sweeping her cautious gaze over the three brothers, Ching Lin suddenly realized that these three people were indeed worthy of being real brothers. Regardless of how different their characters were, there was a ruthlessness in their bones that would chill people. These kinds of people were fine if you did not provoke them. Once you did, they would be like a wounded hungry wolf in the desert who would stare intently at you, waiting for the moment when you became relaxed. Back then, just because of the humiliation from Nanlin Yanran cancelling the engagement, Xiao Yan could abandon the comfortable life in his clan, clench his teeth tightly and fight with magic beasts in the mountain range, bear the loneliness and isolation in the desert and endure tough training for three years. If he could he be so ruthless to himself, just think about how he's like to his enemies. When the blazing sun in the sky began to descend, a disturbance suddenly occurred among the surrounding audience. A group of around 40 mercenaries slowly split the crowd and walked over in a manner that stood out. It's the Sand Mercenary Company. Looks like there will be a good show. He <laughs> he, the Sand Mercenary Company has finally become impatient. Seeing the mercenary company that had walked over, numerous whispers broke out among the surrounding people who were watching. It seems I still overestimated that guy's patience, seeing the company heading over. Xiao Ding shook his head and ridiculed. Let's go and take a look. Before the situation clears, Luo Buletin will not appear. The one leading the company now seemed to be the one second only to Luo Buletin within the Sand Mercenary Company, M.O. Seem. He <laughs> he, someone who was once defeated by me still dares to find trouble with us. Xiao Li coldly laughed as he gazed from a distance. Yes. Xiao Ding nodded his head. He waved his hand. Around him, twenty members of the Desert Metal Mercenary Company were gathered. Thick cold weapons were held in their hands as they walked out of the blockade region and indifferently watched the small group of mercenaries walking over. 
the two groups slowly met and the atmosphere between them was a little tense. Being two powerful strengths in Rock Desert City, they had quite a number of conflicts in the past. Halt! The Desert Metal Mercenary Company is conducting a mission here, please do not interfere. Lifting his eyes, Seeing Ding said in a calm voice as though he was conducting an official business. Hey, company leader Xiao Ding. I have never heard of the Mercenary Association announcing such a mission. Moreover, the surrounding tens of kilometers of Rock Desert City are public places. There isn't anything wrong with me bringing people over, is there? A man with a somewhat feminine face walked out from within the group of the Sand Mercenary Company. His gaze swept across the people inside the blocked-off region as he laughed. M.O. Singh, if it were not for Luo Buletin interfering, you should have become a cripple now, no. Xiao Li threw a glance at this man who appeared to need a beating as he smiled with ill intentions. With his face twitching slightly, the man called M.O. Singh, swept his gaze at Xiao Li with some fear and enmity. He took a step back and coldly said, a forthright person does not hide anything. Our company leader is also interested in this place, so. So you can get lost, indifferent words suddenly spat out from the smiling Xiao Yan who was watching icily by the side. 